Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a really fun video, I think, to share with you. I was recently making uh, something for one of my journals and it's what inspired this project. So I was using my circle punches and I thought I would show you different ways that I like using my circle punches. Uh, different ideas, hopefully for you. I'm going to show you a few projects and then I'm going to show you how I use them at the end of the video. You'll also get a sneak peek of uh, my next tutorial as well. So the first thing is um, I just took these three uh, are my favorite paper punches. You can use any paper punch size that you have, of course. Uh, I'm limited to these sizes at the moment, but I thought they were the most familiar ones for you or the ones that people use most often. So I'm going to be um, using them with these little digitals. Uh, for this project that I'm showing you, my little ephemera holder, I have a tutorial for that and I will link that below as well. There's different ways that I show you how to make those ephemera holders. So the first thing I want to do here is make these cute little uh, pockets, like tags with pockets. I have made these like in larger sizes before, but I thought I would make the smaller, kind of like two inch size on this one. I think it's um, my biggest little paper punch that I have here. So I love these little butterflies. I was so inspired by the um, Digital Collage Club collection with the butterflies kit. I will link their shop below as well as a coupon code if you're interested. So first I'm just taking them out of my little ephemera holder and deciding which ones I want to use. This is such a fun project because you can use any design, any paper you have and you know kind of make it your own of course you can always embellish as much as you want or as little as you want so for some of these because i've just i've got the design on one side and the pocket on the back um, i haven't really done a lot of decorating but of course you could do that if you wanted to this is the kit that i'm using for the um, butterfly and you can see that it's just a little bit uh, larger than my two inch um, paper punch but that's not a problem because I only want this size anyways uh, to work with. All right, so the first thing is I'm going to use some cardstock as a backer for my paper because I did print it on photocopy paper and it's a it's a 28 pound paper, but not as you know sturdy as I would like. So I'm going to first back it with just a cardstock piece of paper and this will make it a little bit sturdier as well. Um, I hope you are all doing well. I've been having so much fun making different little projects and coming up with tutorials to share with you. Thank you all so much for answering my question in my last video. I really appreciate it. It's given me some more ideas and also um, I'm sort of, you know, made a decision on what I'm not going to be doing going forward. So thank you so, so much for um, your input. I really, truly appreciate it. All right, so for this tag, I'm just going to use this little tool that gives me a different um, uh, punched hole on the top of my tag. Sometimes I use my circle, um, you know, punch, my little, um, you know what I'm talking about, the one that makes the little circle. But this one I like as well. And if you have any, um, if you wanna see all my favorite supplies, I also have a link below for you. There's some really nice goodies that I really go to often that I use a lot, and this definitely would be one of them. So to make my pocket, I just put another piece of paper and kind of eyeball half of a circle. I could cut a circle in half, but I prefer it this way because it just gives me a little more variety. So here you see it's just going to take shape. Now the, the reason I also punched out my hole on the front at first is so that I know where to put my pocket. Otherwise I would just not be able to figure it out very well and it might end up upside down. So this way I know where my circle or my little hole punches is the top of my tag. And then I can aim to put my little pocket in the back so that it matches it. And the projects that uh, I'll be making today, I will be sharing how I use them in my work at the end of the video, just once I've shown you the different things we've made with just using our circle punch. If you like the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, 
click that notification bell and share the video with your friends. Um, and uh, this way you'll let me know that you like to see these types of videos and I can continue to make more. I definitely have a lot more ideas. So if this video is something that you want to see more of, let me know. And I've got more ideas coming up for it. So see how cute they look. I really, really love them. And it's like a little surprise behind with a little pocket. I've made these so many times before, but I thought I would just kind of put everything together when it comes to the circle punches so I can give you, you know, a quick idea and different versions or different ways to use a circle punch in your projects. All right, so let's start with the next one. This one is really fun as well, and I'm going to be using the um, half, one and a half inch punch for this one again any size you want. Um, I think these are really cute to make and I'll also give you some ideas on how, you know, what you can use them for. Plus, um, I think they're just really cute because they're like three dimensional, right? So there's like interactiveness that comes with them. Um, when I first saw like the, the way that the shape was coming together, um, it really reminded me of like balloons or like even like different ways that you can just um, embellish a page. All right, so to get started with this one, again, any size of circle that you want, you're just folding your circles in half. And that's the easiest thing you can do with these. And depending on how many um, folded circles you add to it, then there's like, you know, kind of more dimension to this project. So in, I'm just taking my wet glue here and all supplies I think I mentioned, I will link my favorite supplies below. Um, some things that I really always use and this glue is definitely one of my faves. Okay, so you see how I've just attached the circles together on the white side. So I want my colors to be on the top and the, um, the white to be the ones that I'm attaching together. So really the way these work, it's like hinges that you're putting these circles together. Uh, it's perfect for your single sided scrapbook paper because then you're using up the white part to connect them and then your, you know, um, your paper that has some design on it as the top. So for this one, I just used three circles as you can see and look how cute it comes out. I really, really love this. If you, um, you know, make different sizes and add them to a page, they would look really cute. If you put two together, they can make a nice little, um, embellishment you can even attach string to these and put them on you know like a tree as decorations like um, you know so many things you can do and I love the different sizes so I, I definitely will show you how um, I like to use these um, I guess closer to the end of the video all right so the next one is another favorite of mine this is making this cute flower and again it's got like dimension to it it's all made with your circle punches it doesn't matter the size but i'm using these two sizes for this project so um, you'll need a circle first like a smaller circle than the one you're using and just find the center because that's the easiest way to put this together and then the next thing you're going to do is take one of your circles and fold it in half. And when you make all, when you have all four, because for this one, you'll need all four, you'll see how easy it is to put together. Uh, I saw this on Pinterest and I just sort of followed the image. I realized I have saved a lot of ideas on Pinterest and I have to really start going through my board because um, I just have so much there that um, I forget uh, how much um, I've saved for inspiration. So see what I've done here. You're just folding these and making them into almost like a little fan. I think that's the shape of it. So you'll fold it up and you'll fold both sides up to make like a little cone, I should say, right? It looks like a little cone and you'll sort of you know get to play with the paper and see how they sort of it sort of bends to make that shape so there's really nothing um, you know too difficult to making this but you are just trying to sort of line up your edges so that they meet on either side because it just makes it look a lot easier that way it makes it easier to you know to put it together so you see that i've just sort of folded both edges towards the center and you've got your little cone 
And then super easy to do, you'll just add your glue and start attaching them. I, I really have to um, share these different things that I see on Pinterest. Most of the time I find it's like in a different language and there's just, um, you know, images of, you know, like step one, two, three, and four. And a lot of the times it's easy to sort of get the idea and other times it's a little bit more difficult. But this one I really thought was fun because there's not that many steps to putting it together. And then of course, when you continue to embellish it or decorate it, you can use this in so many ways. But I think they come out really, really cute. Again, I will be showing you how I've used these myself. So maybe it'll inspire you to do something else. And if you happen to make any of these, please tag me. I love to see what you do. And uh, I love getting inspired by, you know, things that you have seen me make and that you also get inspired to create. Okay, this next one, super, super easy. You need two circles. I'm, do, I'm using this size, but it doesn't matter the size you use. These um, were, you know, papers that I um, printed, but that they didn't print properly. I like to reuse everything. So of course I'm using these. Now you can see I'm just folding in the edges to kind of make like a little pocket. And you've got all your four edges folded towards the center. Now this happens to have some words on it and this, I believe it's a digital from Digital Collage Club. It's like a poem, but it didn't come out properly. So I thought I would just kind of use it to make an embellishment and see how easy this is. You can use any paper you have. You can add anything to the center. You can just leave it as is and it just gives you a nice little embellishment. See that one there. And again, I will be showing you how I'm using this in my work. So here's this one that I used here. I just stamped the center of a book page and, you know, just added a little something on the back of it. And then it really makes a cute embellishment. So you can make keychains with these. You can make little dangles, so many things. I think this is my favorite. So this is what I was working on initially um, in order to use this for my fall inspired project that I'll be sharing with you soon. So I've got that tutorial coming up. So for this one, again, I'm using two of the um, paper punches and it doesn't matter the size. I think I'll be using the larger size for this video. I will be using my Distress Ink because I found that it just it made a little bit of a difference. And here I'm just showing you again the tools that I was using. You'll probably notice that the background for this video is different than the ones I was sharing with you initially. And that's because I sometimes film things as I'm working on the projects and then I sort of go back and add to it. So this is what we will be making. I wanted to make some pumpkins and I thought it would be so cute. Now, everything I've used to make the pumpkin comes from my, my circle punch, okay? So I've used nothing else and I think they came out so cute. This one is um, the first ones that I started trying out. And then as I kept doing them, I kept sort of making them a little bit you know, a little bit more embellished, right? So for the first, uh, the pumpkin here that I'm showing you, you're going to need five circles. For the first one here, you would only need three uh, of the same color. But again, I'll walk you through the steps and you'll see how quickly and fun this is. I did distress the edges uh, because I did find that with the distress, distressed edges, it gives it a little bit more depth. Otherwise the colors sort of blend into each other. And I don't know, it just sometimes it's nicer to do that. Now I don't often distress everything I work on, but this one I thought it just, it looked really cute. All right, so you'll start with your first two, two circles and I'm just adding a little glue to one end and then layering them together, just sort of staggered. And then you'll take your third circle. And again, super fun. I, I think I'm using a um, Paige Evans paper collection for this one. Um, if I remember the name, I will link it below. So this is the three circle little uh, pumpkin. You can see the difference, right? With the distressing, the one that I've distressed and the one that I didn't. Super, super cute. All right. So that's just with the three circles. And then to give it a little more depth, I take two more circles. Again, I just add glue to like the edges 
and here I'm just again just layering them on top of each other to just give them a little bit more depth and then the last one to finish it off and then I'll show you how we make the stem which is really really cute and easy as well so here you're just attaching them and you you'll notice that you're layering and sort of staggering them so that you can see a little bit of a shape sort of like you know what a pumpkin would look like right so there's that there and now for the stem and the leaves i take the smaller punch and i just cut off the edges like this and i'll take the three pieces off of it and you can see i've got my little leaves right there and then the top part here that we actually cut the leaves off from, I'm just adding glue to two of the little extra pieces that were left. And there's our little stem, isn't that cute? I absolutely love it. I'll show you how I've used this in my work as well. So there's that, and then we'll just add the little leaves to it. I did want to say quickly thank you so much for your support with my channel and with uh, buy me a coffee I really really appreciate it you don't know how happy that makes me and thank you all so much thank you to Karen M Marianne JC Marilyn S thank you so so much I really appreciate it and thank you all for watching my channel liking the video commenting on the video sharing with your friends I really appreciate that all right, so you can see how it looks when uh, we've made it with the five circles compared to the three. Any of these is perfect, but of course it looks much nicer, I think, with the, um, the five personally anyways. This would be so perfect for a project you can make with your grandkids or your kids if you're doing something, you know, um, fall themed. Um, I'm all about pumpkins. I love pumpkin everything. So I think that is my go-to for fall and if you don't have you know die cuts for pumpkins then you can make your own all right so i'm also going to show you the different ways that uh, you can layer these so for example uh, i did one that um, actually this one's just a different color but this one i did layer it a little bit with some foam tape and you can just see that it gives it just a different sort of um I don't know just a different way that it pops off the page uh, and I really really like it so it's almost like the um, you know it kind of gives it a shadow almost to that one so you can see how they look there super super cute I really really love this project and of course here's an extra tip uh, whenever you use a paper punch you can always use your leftover paper with the actual negative of it as a stencil. I've done this many, many times before. I'll link videos to different ways that I have used, uh, you know, my um, my paper punches. And I also have a video showing you a tip on how I make ephemera with paper that I have punched and the negatives that I have used. So look how cute they came out. Super, super love it. Hope you liked the video. I'm going to just quickly show you how I've used them in my own work so you can get some ideas. And like I said, if you get inspired and want to make something, don't forget to tag me. And I really, really appreciate seeing what you make. All right, so here are my tags. Of course, I showed you the tags and these are just little tags. You can add them to anything. Uh, you know, this one, I just added a little envelope to the back of it. Depending on the size of your circle, of course, these can be a lot larger, which is really nice. And, you know, you embellish however you want. If you want to embellish the backs of them as well. I started this one with like a little um, butterfly on it. And I have to go back to my previous videos to see how else I've put these together. But I really, really love them. And I love how they come out. I might show you some pictures at the end as well. This one here, I just added the other circle to it and then I did a little string so you can hang this as a charm from, um, you know, an album or a journal. You can attach a few of them together on a page to make that page really, really nice. This one here is the flower one. So let me show you in my journal how I've used it. And I just added a couple of those little leaves and those little flowers in the center. They're like fabric flower I got from uh, one of the shops I get things from. Um, and look how cute right and now I'm going to show you this one I think I showed you this already how I used it in my journal um, this one was used with a book page and I stamped on it so you can see how that looks there 
I think this one is one of my faves because it's so easy to do and it adds a little sort of dimension to your page. All right, here's the sneak peek in how I've used my pumpkin just for this particular project, but I've, I've done it in different ways as well. And this is how I'm using it. You'll get the tutorial for this very soon, this whole project, but this is how I added my little pumpkin. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for stopping by.